dozens of books that appeal to children are within reach at the push of a button. Stories about dinosaurs, elephants, knights, robots, and a lot of other things. And the young readers get a lot of encouragement. Somebody raise your hand and say, I promise. I promise. To read every single day. To read every single day. Ladybugs are dancing on tippity feet. Tippity, tippity, happy feet. Who has happy feet? The book vending machine program is sponsored by JetBlue Airlines. Making sure that kids develop a lifelong love of reading when they're really young is important to us, and we figure that that helps us have better future crew members or people to work for us. Not only are these books free, the children are allowed to keep them. Our program is based on trying to get books in the hands of children who don't have age-appropriate books at home. They could really touch and pick a book that was important to them, so nobody, no adult was telling them what book they had to take. This book vending machine, located inside a church, is one of three recently installed in a poor neighborhood with one of the lowest literacy rates in the city. Many parents here cannot afford to buy books for their children. They are strategically located in, uh, in places where families naturally go. So in a place of worship and at a grocery store. I look at this as a way for families to begin building their libraries at home. And the kids seem excited about it. Books tell you stuff. Mm -hmm. And if you don't read, then you don't know stuff. It helps me read better when I grow up. I consider this a game changer. There are other stores that are interested in bringing the, the vending machines there. This is a pilot program, but its sponsors hope to make book vending machines a common feature in other communities where they can help boost literacy and a love of reading. For writer Fiza El Masri, I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.